Hey everybody, uh, this is Joe over at Synergy17, and um, today I saw requests for someone asking um, how to install fonts. Not necessarily rhinestone fonts, but how do you get a font from the internet and get it into your PC. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So for example, let's go to thefont.com and choose a font. So you can either search through all their fonts. Um, I already looked at one that I like called Black Fox. So you find the font right here um, and it says download. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download and I'm going to save it. And you can save it wherever you want. Um, I actually have a folder called fonts right here. So I'm going to call it blackfox.zip. That's original. And then I saved it. When you're done, you're going to want to go to that directory for my fonts. Oops, downloads. Downloads, right? This is wherever you, wherever you saved your font. Uh, fonts, and it's called Black Fox, and here it is right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract it. So uh, there's a big difference between going inside of it and viewing it and unzipping it because right now I'm still within the zip file. So some people try to, you know, run it from there. You can't. You don't want to do that you want to actually go to it and extract the file. So extract it and it says, okay, where do you want to do it? I'm going to extract it right here. Next. And it's going to unzip it and it says, hey, do I want to see it right now? And if I do that, it'll basically open a window and show me there's the file. So um, I have it right here. I'm going to go inside that and here's the font. So if you have Windows 7 and above, if you or maybe even Vista, I think Vista and above, if you click on this, there's an actual option that says install. Um, this is Windows XP, so I don't have it on this machine here. But on other machines, like I said, X, uh, Vista 7, 8, you could right click and I'll just say install, click on install, and it'll install the font. So on this one, it's a little bit older, um, what I do is this. I move this folder here, and you go to the C drive, Windows, and there's a folder here called fonts right here and that's what has all your fonts in it. So um, I'm going to take this here and I'm going to I'm right clicking and I'm copying over two fonts and release it and when I copy it it'll say installing it and it's there. So now if I launch um, I don't know if I launch Corel or something let me see. So I'm launching Corel right now And once this comes up, I'll show you that um, the font is installed. So I'll do a new document, and I'll say test. And here, I have tons of fonts, so sometimes it takes a while. But under here, if I scroll up, I should have one called Black Fox. And let's see. Lots of different fonts in here. There it is right here. So, anyways, now I have that font. You can uh, cut that on uh, on your vinyl or your signed vinyl or your heat transfer vinyl or your glitter vinyl, whatever you want. But that's how you do it. Hope you. I hope this helped.